Aloha nui kako, I'm Lani Huli Kanahele, a Kanaka videographer with Edith Kanaka Ole Foundation. And I want to mahalo Olukai for having me on their Anywhere Hashtag Aloha Fridays IGTV series. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to build a kua pa. Aloha! Uh, were you following me this whole time? You like help me with the fish one? Why you never say that in the first place? Come on, boy, gear up! Okay, now these items are just to ensure your safety when you're building rock wall. Listen. Oh, hey, gang, Just wanted to bring you here in the shade to talk a little bit about our cool pot or our rock wall here at Haleolono. So, as many of you may know, Kia i Loko, or people who take care of the fish pond, face many tasks and responsibilities in our preserved fish ponds we have here today. One of the challenges we'll be facing is Kukulu Kuapa, or Kukulu Papo Haku, which is the construction or building of a rock wall. Now, this tradition has been passed down for many generations, and we as Kia i Loko want to keep it that way in order for other generations to continue this practice. It is not only a way to keep things in our fish pond, but to keep certain fish out in order to sustain different marine species. As we continue to use the ways of our kupuna, we are also being sustainable and preserving our natural resources with the surroundings that we have, just like the pohaku that is provided for us. Many local yokuapa or rockwa fish ponds on our islands utilize this practice. For example, Heeya and Kaneohe, Kaloko and Kona, Honokea and Hilo, Huilua and Kahana. Honu in Waimanalo, and many more. Okay, that's the gist of the hiss. Now let's go start working. Now, rock wall building takes skill and years of practice to perfect, but thanks to Pai Pai Ohei Agangi, they made it easy for community members to learn and remember this process. They use a four line chat that gives a step by step process of Kukulu Papohaku. Ho'oniho kaniho, pai pai kealo, panihaka haka, pohaku kapopole. Now do it with me. Ho'oniho kaniho, pai pai kealo, panihaka haka, pohaku kapopole. Now you have done your protocol to enter. Before entering or interacting with the fish pond, you must ask permission of the place or entity in order to enter. And since it's raining now, you should always kilo and observe your surroundings before interacting with the wall. This is to ensure your safety while you're working with Kanaloa. So I guess we'll go over the basic, uh, the basic, so the pohaku over here for this, uh, any pa pohaku or kua pa or paya that you're building or for your mala. So you can start here on the bottom. These are your niho or you know, like your tea. So if you're somewhere where they get uh, sands or mud, you're gonna kind of bury your knee hole. So you're gonna dig out and plant it in there. But as you can see over here, on the east side of Big Island, it's all pohoi hoi. So you end up treating these like you would in alo. We'll talk about that later. So as you move up, your next stones, all these ones, these are your alos, right? So your alo is your face. These are all your face stones, so as you can see, it doesn't mean it needs to be flat. This one's nice and flat, but this one is round. Uh, that one's kind of pokey over there. So that's all your alos, and you just flip it around so you got a nice alo for aesthetic purposes, but for function, you need it to not um, kick out. So by doing, when you do that, you just kind of push on the, the front over here. You see on the thing will move, then you know you're good. So mm -hmm. the pohaku that we use to fill up the haka haka, we also refer to as haka haka, or sometimes even unu. Um, Uno is more kind of like a wedge style um, shape. It's more specific in its function. And then we get up here to the top. So these are your papale or your capstones. And as you see, you try to make it not, yes, aesthetics, but also um, function is, you know, think about it. Do you want to walk on top of it if it's all, if it's not flat or if it's all pokey? No, you like them as flat as possible. Um, so back down to the bottom. So if this was mud or sand, I would dig out the sand. And I'll kind of bury the knee hole and dig out or add more sand or mud to adjust it so that the alo of the knee hole is nice 
and that the top is not sliding. So, so what you do is you're gonna use your unos and your hakahakas to help to manipulate the, the poaku if you needed to. So maybe you lift up the lift up the front and you shove unos and hakahaka under there so that the front comes up and it makes it so that the olive goes from like this and lift up the front and it comes straight now and now it's nice or even a little bit more to get the angle you need if you're building that type of wall. Um, same thing as you know adjusting the back. Maybe you pull out hakahakas from the back and so you can drop the back down so that it'll it'll come it'll come like that. The whole rack will come down, the olive will change, um, and then you haka haka in there. Uh, there's different styles that I've come across. Um, some guys, you know, they kind of just um, with their haka hakas, they kind of just throw them into the space, and you know that's cool. That's that's their style. The style I learned is all the haka hakas are placed with intention, just as much intention as you would with your niho or your alos, so that you know everything is extra pa'a in that way. Um, you know, ali pa'a ka ike ka halau ho kahi. Once you got your wall all set, you want to try that bug out and make sure that guy is pa'a. Wash your gear and get all pulu. And we're going to end this hard working day with po'o niho ka niho. Pai pai ke alo, pani haka haka, po haku ka pa pali. Mahalo nui again Olukai for having me and I hope you guys took something away from this video and apply it to a fish pond near you. If you guys are here in Hilo, please stop by and join us here at Haleolono Fish Pond. Ahui ho!